We're going to talk today about function pointers and uh, function pointers. And these are actually not uh, not in my book, but I got an interesting uh, comment about this uh, this random uh, code or this you this code used to make a uh, a random character uh, a few uh, videos ago. And uh, the uh, the commenter said, uh, "Why don't you uh, <clears throat> uh, do it a little bit differently? Uh, you can um, use a function pointer instead." And uh, that uh, that looks pretty interesting. So I uh, you know gave it a try, and uh, it worked uh, really well. Uh, so you know, first of all, what is a fu function pointer? We've seen um, we've seen infiltrate before. So if you have um, you know when you're passing, uh, if you want to return a uh, a trait um, or sorry a closure then uh, you know a closure is uh, you know fn fn mute uh, or uh, fn once and then uh, you say you know what kind of uh, what kind of a function it is so uh, you know fn something and returns a, uh, a u8 something like that so you can actually return a, uh, a closure and uh, you can do the uh, the same thing for a uh, for a function so you can see for example this uh, this function uh, three die six it um, so it makes this, uh, you know, takes three random numbers, it adds them together, and then it returns it uh, as a U8. And uh, so this, uh, you know, the the function uh, signature of it is uh, is this fn to uh, to U8. So you can actually return uh, return this in a um, in uh, in another function, um, and you can also. Uh, you know, give it, uh, give that to a function. Like uh, you can put it, put it inside uh, here. So you could say, this, um, this takes a, uh, you know, takes in a function that uh, that takes nothing and uh, returns a U8. So let's just look at the uh, the code uh, once more, and then uh, we'll go to the comment, and then uh, I'll show you uh, how it uh, how it shrunk the code uh, quite a bit. So we have this, uh, you know, bring in rand uh, the rand crate. Uh, format. We're going to format it. Uh, this character has six uh, characteristics, um, and then um, we have this thing where you roll uh, three dice from one to six, and then there's also this uh, second function where you roll uh, four dice, and then you sort it and take out the lowest one, and then uh, return the top three. So that gives your character a little bit more of a chance in in life because uh, your character has a you know a low chance of having a a stat of three like intelligence three means you basically can't even talk you can't do anything strength three is like you can carry maybe 10 pounds so it's really uh um a lot of people prefer the four die six so you can have you know at least like a you know a six at least and, and not be totally uh um you know weak uh, weaker than you would uh, than you'd hope your character be to be uh and then we have uh enum dice and then uh three four and this is the uh, a match statement. So you uh, you pass in a, uh, a dice, and then if it's a dice three, you do this three dice six uh, six times, and if it's a dice four, you do uh, four dice six six times. And then we displayed it, and then we made some characters. And then uh, then along came this comment by Theodore Hiltner, who has been commenting uh, a lot recently. Lots of uh, interesting comments. Who said uh, you should have done impl character function new, and instead of uh, uh, the dice uh, the dice thing, just say f uh, roll. Um, call this uh, you know call this function roll, and then um, and then uh, you know, it's, it's a function pointer basically. So uh, let's uh, let's take this and uh, move it up here and see uh, see what we're looking at. So impl character. So you can see. Uh, so we're going to change it to uh, to Theodore's suggestion. So instead of uh, dice uh, and dice uh, this this enum, so uh, we don't need to uh, do that anymore. And uh, so what we do is we pass in uh, this thing and we call it roll this uh, this function pointer. And then uh, so what happens is uh, if we pass in three die six, uh, this you know this will match because it's uh, takes nothing, gives you eight. And four dice six will also match, and so we'll say strength roll, uh, dexterity, dexterity roll, constitution roll. What's next? Intelligence roll, wisdom also roll, and then charisma roll. 
So that is a uh, that's what happens to our new uh, hold on yeah, our new function. Um, so we don't need this. We don't need dice. We don't need to match. So we can uh, we can take this out. And you know what? Let's just leave uh, leave this as two impl blocks just to uh, so we can remember that you can uh, you can use impl as many times as you want. So we'll uh, we'll leave it uh, separately. And then uh, instead of uh, character new with dice, uh, we're going to say uh, what is it? So three die six, and then here it's going to be three die four. And this is the uh, the interesting part because um, you know whenever you call a uh, a function, you want to uh, instinctively do this. Uh, but this uh, what this is going to do if you put in you know this is saying call the result or pass in the result of the function. So um, now it's going to say, uh, I can't find the function. Uh, I expected an FN pointer and you gave me a U8, which makes sense because this, uh, you know, three die six, the result is a U8. So if you take that out, then uh, you're passing in the, just the name or the, the pointer to the function itself. And then it's going to, uh, you know, pick it up here. Uh, we bring it in uh, under this name roll, and um, this is the uh, the function itself. And then we call the function, and this is going to give us the uh, the u weights that we want. So this should do the uh, exact same thing. And uh, three die four, three die oh, three die six. That's what it was. Three die six. There, there are also uh, die fours in uh, in D and D. That's why. Uh, three die six, four die six. Let's do that again. And there you go. So it does the exact same thing. Uh, so it's uh, you know, it's kind of uh, kind of generic uh, because it's uh, it's passing in any uh, any function, a pointer to any function that uh, that uh, fulfills this, and that means you can uh, you can come up with a lot of functions and then uh, simplify your code as was suggested and uh, so that is a, a quick look at function pointers and uh, while we're on the subject uh, i'm going to do the uh, talk about them a little bit more in the next video too